now we'll know about the cube from CLI and what can be done with cube from CLI. Cube from provides a cube CTL plugin to interact with cube from resources. Currently, we have added the get tf command to generate terraform .tf files from the cube from resources. And two files will be generated by the get tf command. One is main.tf, which is the exact conversion from cube from resource to terraform HCL configuration. And another one is terraform.tf state file, which is the resource state and which is exactly the same as terraform tf state. These two files are equivalent to the terraform configuration file of the respective cube from resource. So after generating these files, we can apply them from terraform. Let's see the cube from CLI installation. Uh, you can visit our official cube from our website for the installation details. And these are the summary. And by this command, you can install cube from cube schedule plugin to interact with cube from resources. I have already installed it in my machine. So let's see an example. You can see the demo uh, command, which is basically uh, kfstdl kf get tf, and we need to give the resource, which is uh, the singular or plural form of uh, kind of the resource in lowercase, definitely. And the resource name also should be given. And there is a flag that is namespace, which is basically the resource namespace. And there's also another flag that is directory flag. So if we provide the directive flag, this is basically take the path where the generated files, that is main.tf and terraform.tf state will be stored. If we don't give it, then the generated files will be printed in the console where this commands will be run. So this is the uh, example command, which is basically we are trying to get the main.tf and uh, terraform.tf state for our instances named qform instance in the demo namespace. And we provided a path where this file should be stored. So now I'm, now I'm going to show my terminals to show the example. Here are my terminals. In this terminal, currently I'm in uh, this manifest directory. So from where I will apply the Linux instance. Basically, to use or uh, to get the generated files, which is basically the main.tf and terraform.tf state of any QFM resources, that resource must need to be in current phase. So we need to apply the resource to get that configurations, main.tf and terraform.tf state. So we can use uh, uh, any backend, like local backend or remote backend. So now we are going to, any in any case, the terraform uh, generated files will be generated by our from CLI. So this is the Linux instance, which I'm going to apply. Let's apply it. It is created. The reconciliation has started. The phase is in progress. You can see in the cloud provider dashboard of Linux. Let's refresh it. Yeah, a little instance level Q from demo is currently provisioning state. It is booting and let's wait a bit to get into running. Yeah, it became running state. And the phase is also came in current. So now we can get the generated files by our Q from CLI because the phase of that from instance is current currently. So I will, I am currently in this manifest directory. So in this, I will store that generated files in the generated folder. So currently there is no file you can see. So for that, I will come back to one step back and we'll in the demo directory. So now I will apply the command that we have seen in the KFM CLI example. 
let f get tf i have provided the path generated folder path to store the files here let's apply it let me done yeah you can see two files has been generated one is main.tf and another one is terraform.tf state so you can see in the terraform.tf state in the terraform.tf state the exact con conversion of terraform tf state is here it is equivalent to the terraform tf state and also in the main.tf you can see the exact conversion from the queue from linode instance yml resource to the main uh, terraform tf so we can do we can do the terraform init apply and desktop operation from here because it is exactly equivalent to the terraform configuration and our queue from generated ex equivalent configuration so terraform will definitely recognize it it is the expected behavior that if we do the terraform minute and then apply the terraform apply command then terraform will, will recognize the queue from instance the, that is this linode instance resource though we didn't create it from terraform but as we have convert we have converted the configuration exactly equivalent to the terraform so terraform will recognize it let's see whether terraform recognize it or not so let's enter into generated directory let's do the terraform in it The initialization is been in process. Yeah, the initialization has been done successfully. So let's clear it. You can see the initialization file that the initializer has done of terraform by the terraform make command so now we will do the terraform apply or even can do the plan command so as the expected behavior is terraform will recognize this instance and also as we didn't change anything it will say that no changes so let's see whether it can recognize it or not Yeah, you can see it is showing that no changes your infrastructure matches the configuration that means it could have successfully recognized our queue form instance which has been created by queue from linear provider controller so that means that i have said throughout this conversation that the conversion has been done exactly equivalent to the terraform so it is proved by this terraform plan command so we can use Terraform and Qform in equivalently. So that gives the user very convenient experience. Uh, user can now use Terraform and Qform and vice versa. So this was the our Qform CLI and its hands-on example. And that's all for from our latest two features. These were Keep from remote backend and keep from CLI. We have seen hands on demo and also the in details explanation of both of them.